whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spat you. We'll figure something out. What's to figure? All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got his spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. That's not good. You got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? Yeah, a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. Well, that's your fault, buddy. So we got a dead guy in the trunk and a cop about to hit us. No, no, no. I hope you're kidding. Uh, too late to go. Oh, man. Ah, oh, Christ, Eddie. Yeah, that fucking reeks. Oh, hey, it's his car. Yeah, but that smell, plus the other smell. The only way it could get worse now is if he craps himself. Which he probably will do. Come on, you slow piece of shit. Get us to the top of the hill so we can dump it. Fuck this. Ah! So you got out of the way. That's awesome. Extremely helpful. Never been this far out yet. It's a new experience. Oh shit, limit, 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 limit. Cop car up here. And I can't overtake the cop because then I would have meant driving. Fuck. Get out of the fucking way! You dumb ass. Whatever, this car is not mine. I don't care. It's already fucked up. Is this a park? Yeah, it might be. All right, here we are. All right, we're here. <clears throat> Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? <clears throat> That's great. That's just great. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> no. God damn it, no shoes. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. <clears throat> Fucking Christ almighty! How long has this guy been in here, Reddy? Eh, uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, that's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. <coughs> oh. 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 <coughs> ah. <coughs> hey, mother... Hey, hey, here's the hole. Right here. He fell in it. Oh my god, this is just disgusting. <laughs> Look at how fucking dead he is. <sighs> Finally, done. <sighs> okay, now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any help oh, here. Fine, whatever. These guys are useless, man. Hey, fellas, how about a little music, eh? No music. You gotta be kidding me. 
Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This go. wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but it's nice out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. He's doing all the work in his new suit. What the fuck? What are they even saying? I can't even hear them. Please, can I change it? Please. I don't know the fucking Italian words. Ah, oh, fuck, where's my motto when I need it? Solo two, solo one. Yeah, I think they passed out. Yes, they have. Now I should be able to turn this off. Okay, no, I can't. There we go. Okay, turn this shit off. <laughs> Gotta be careful, there's copper behind me. And home sweet home. Okay, I'm not I'm Sorry, not kidding. Okay, Fido. they can walk. Not Good. exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's <laughs> car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up! Hey, <laughs> shut up, you whore! Come on! Look you had enough, Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. Come on. I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. That was pretty interesting. Oh. All right, springtime, chapter eight. The worst welcome home party ever. Uh, what the fuck? Hey, Vito, rise 
Mr. Shy. Jesus. Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? Who is this guy? It's killing me. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. Then stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down. Jesus Christ. This is ridiculous. New apartment here. Oh, why is the wardrobe in the hallway? That makes no sense. One's green. I didn't even notice that. I think this is the one I bought and this is the one I was wearing before. Where are the nice suits? Boy, it looks like an idiot in that cowboy shit. Let's see what this looks like. Sure, why not? We'll rock the high school look. Even though it looks ridiculous. I wouldn't I don't think I'd ever wear a jacket like this. It just looks stupid. In my opinion. I mean some of them are nice, but I don't know. Who the hell was that? Guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodbecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid you slipped down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. What is in these boxes? Some night, huh? Yeah, I could say that. Why? You ain't still mad, are you? Nah, very in a stiff. That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for that. But, uh, everything between then and now, not so much. All right, all right. Well, listen, today's gonna be a lot better, I promise. I sure as hell hope so. I wonder if you can stop back there later on, whenever you want to, you know? Oh, shit. That was close. I almost just sped. Oh, oh, shit. That's a narrow road, man. Barely meant for two-way so traffic. Simple. Just gotta go to a couple of places and unload these smokes. Then we bring the truck back to Eddie and get our cut of the tape. Piece of cake. Wait. I seem to remember getting thrown in the clink for a piece of cake just like this. Don't worry, I've done this before. First stop, Riverside. You say so. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. I don't know, man. Something's gonna go down. Everything easy. The easy ones always seem to have issues. Get it up to sixty. Oh god, it is 60 here. Thank god for that. Are you trying to kill us? Yes, because... Relax, will you? Cop, cop, cop! Oh my god. This is how you have to truck. What the fuck are you doing? What's up your ass today? Jesus, how did a cop let me get away with that? For real. Down the alley, I take it. What now? Now we hey, look, I was number eight. Person. That's fantastic. These guys here buying bulk from us. Come He's a number me. eight. Like seriously, that is awesome. Okay, climb Very up. Very suiting. Hear me goods. Hi, one carton of reds. Hand me a carton of reds, Vito. All right, hand it over. Here. Two bucks. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a cotton of blues. 
One cart in the blues, Vito. It's blue yeah, and red. That's the one. Is there any other colors? Or just, it is. Oh, well, there's whites down there. Handing out smokes to everybody. Oh, $328. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Hey, Sarge, how you doing? Caught in the blues, as usual? I think I'll take the whites this time. Get that Vito. Let's go. Caught in the whites. All right. Hand it over. Thanks, Joe. Now get the hell out of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is... Wow. A cop was spying from him. today. We're making some serious though. Here. Whoops! This thing is a, a phenomenal turning radius given the circumstances. Why would you leave the boxes open, man? Seal them back up. So the kid Mark, he works for Eddie too? <laughs> In his dreams. Kid's not even 18 yet. He does jobs for me, drives me around, makes deliveries, that sort of stuff. Thinks he's a gangster, though. Spends too much damn time at the movies. Well, the kid's got you for a whole model. He's in for a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, wise guy? He reminds me a lot of you when you was his age. Exactly. And I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in the can since I met you. That's what I mean by trouble. What's the matter? Somebody shit in your coffee this morning? It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah, remind me of those Sunday, would you? This thing can ba barely get up to 100 anyway. I mean 100 kilometers, which is 60 miles. So calm yourself, Google. Is that its top speed? I think it is. I don't think it's even possible for me to go too fast in this on the highway. Oh shit. That shit would be frowned up. Oh crap. No, no, no! It was it was yellow. That's why the cop didn't go after me. Almost makes up for last night. Almost. Come on, what's better than this? You got fresh air, good company, and you're making a shitload of dough. Not too bad for a guy who just got out of the slam. All right, all right. Listen, if the next few hours are anything like the last few hours, all's forgiven. There's the veto I know. All right, we'll be there in a second. Yeah, but just because you said that, something's gonna go down. We'll see. I'm gonna get shot up and what have you. Hey, caught the blue 
Use if you please. Give me a carton of blues. Yeah, that's the one. Two bucks for a pack is a carton, not even a pack. Of cigarettes. Right, I'll take a box of reds. Carton of reds, Vito. Yeah, that's the one. Like, we're not stupid. There's three colors. White, blue, and red. Just whatever he says. Here. A few hours later. Uh-oh. Hot rodders. Who are you? What you selling, Mac? You buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fork over ten cartons and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf. And it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up. You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire set. Oh, come on, no. Shit, don't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now, boy? You know what I gotta say? That's what you fucking say. That is right. Come on, hop in that car and let's go. All right, let's get They weren't right expecting that. Teach them a lesson. They're just some random gangs. Yeah, yeah, greaser bastards. That's all they are. Turn this shit off. Go. Step let's on it, Vito. He's getting away. See the what this thing board, can do. Joe. This thing won't go any faster. He wasn't expecting to get shot. They don't exactly have the fast cars. Do an 80. <laughs> Whoops! This thing doesn't respond now, that shit. well. Now, shit, we should check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone booth and quote. Where the f Find a phone booth. How am I supposed to know where the phone booths are? I guess I just gotta drive around. I'll have to take the next exit. Take your fucking foot off the accelerator! Take it easy, I'm in a rush. My bad. What are you doing? Hey, I know how to drive, all right? I don't have that much money, do I? Eddie, it's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these, uh, these greases came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening, and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay. Crazy Horse. Yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show them that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though. So it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right, sure. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. 
Right, we gotta meet Steve in front of the crazy horse. The good news is he's gonna help us out. The bad news is Eddie wants his money back. All two grand of it. Shit! You really think we're gonna get two G's out of these guys? I don't know. We'll see what Steve's got in mind. You know he ain't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Let's go. I just want to drive by and then I'm good. Come on, you slow piece of shit. Eddie was fucking pissed on the phone. Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick two thousand dollars worth of shit out. I'm with you. But what's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek. And Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? Even though you're working for Eddie, we all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. <laughs> but what the fuck are you doing? Nah, it wasn't that bad. It was than abroad. I broke it. That do the trick? That's hilarious. I was trying to stop. Is this a bar? Hey, Steve. It's hey. greasy. Hey, guys. Marty? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay, why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here, then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What'd you Shut up, day? kid. I'm talking here. So, like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And, well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With this. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Let's go teach these fuckers a lesson. Okay, <laughs> that guy's gonna kill somebody. What was that? 